Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. <laughs> this is In-Depth Outdoors. <laughs> So on today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors, I'm out in South Dakota with good friend Marcus Quam. I don't get to ice fish with this guy nearly as much as I used to. In fact, some said that it would be an impossible feat for me to get him out on the ice out of his snow bear. But we're going to do it today, right? Yeah. The old fashioned way? Actually, we got great weather today, so it's this is going to be fun. So like I said, we're out of Webster, South Dakota on one of the more popular lakes in the area. As you can see behind us, we are far from alone. Lots of buddies in the distance. Uh, we're going to get out here on the ice sheet. Great conditions are forecast for today. Uh, so we're going to just punch a bunch of holes, cover a lot of water. We're going to do the thing we do. Yeah. All right, so we're after uh, primarily perch. Should be some walleyes mixed in today. So stick around. I think you're going to love today's show. Marcus Quam, James Holst, here today on In-Depth Outdoors. What we got here? I got just a bunch of them down there. Nothing would make me happier than to get a nice mess of perch to take home. That's what we got here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. That's a good one. Got that one on a number three hot perch jigging wrap. Put that one on the ice. That's what that looks like right there. And we're tipping it with some of those larvae there. And I like those over wax worms because they're just a little bit more durable. Just a dynamite perch and walleye bait for out here in the Dakotas. Well, elsewhere too, but out here this is a real winner. All right, one of my favorite things about that bait is things like a rock. When you get those perch come in underneath you, unless you've got a bait down there that holds their attention, they just swim right off. So I don't want to fish a real, you know, finesse bait, something that's gonna sink slow if these fish are willing to hit a more aggressive presentation like a jigging rat. Get it down to them, give them a chance to eat it, catch another fish. Ooh, that's a little better one. Actually slowing my hands down, I like that. Get out of that transducer, little devil. Oh yeah, look at that. Jigging her up for the win, right there. <laughs> that is awesome. Beautiful perch. Yeah. My favorite fish to eat. I've been uh, doing this show for a long time. I've said it many times. I've got a uh, soft spot in my heart for these things. Best eating fish in fresh water, in my opinion, by far. So I will be keeping some fish today. We'll keep it reasonable, of course. I got a small family, but some of these are coming home because. There's nothing better in my opinion. Oh. So, you know, Marcus is just basically getting out on the ice here for the first time. The approach this morning was, you know, as everybody first starts to get out on these lakes, they come off the, the accesses and they don't go very far. You know, it's just kind of like a survival strategy, right? You don't just go running out across the lake without checking ice first. So everybody's just kind of piled up back in this bay. So what we did is we just went through everybody and we're probably, you know, a quarter of a mile on the outside of everybody here. 
And what we're basically doing is we're just counting on the fact that that activity up there is going to push fish in our direction. Uh, they, they'll catch fish up there. They'll do just fine. But out here, kind of in an area where it's nice and quiet, as the activity picks up out there, we're going to see more and more fish pile into this area. The depth is really similar. Uh, we're in 31 foot here. Uh, all those snow bears and houses are up there in that deeper water as well. So we'll just stay away from everybody and let them just kind of push fish our way. And that's a dandy. From panfish to predators, nobody does ice fishing like BMC. BMC has created an unrivaled arsenal of weapons for the savvy panfish angler to deploy. It doesn't matter if you're fishing fast or forced to go ultra finesse. BMC has a bite-sized offering sure to entice the most wary panfish. Searching for big fish with teeth? From flutter to rattlespoons, BMC has the most attractive UV finishes and natural bait fish patterns that big walleyes can't resist. Only from BMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from Garmin, Ice Electronics, Ice Shelters, and Ice Clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LiveScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota, or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Here they come. There's a oh, oh yeah. Oh, it was just that easy. God, I love fish per per and perch. You know if bluegill behave like perch, there wouldn't be any. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. you compare how hard it is to catch a good sized bluegill, some, you know, a lot of days, to perch fishing. Look at that. It's a nice one too. Yeah, when you see that. So, do a lot of fishing, you pick up on some things, right? When you see a jig and wrap attacked by the head, uh, down in a fish's mouth, that tells you you got the size right and you got the color right. Because very often if you're kind of off just a little bit, maybe the jig and wrap's a little too big or the color's not right, they just nip at that treble hook with the bait. That one pretty much choked it. I got that whole big tray of jig and wraps over there. Help yourself. I might uh, take one off. I was starting with something different, but uh, you know, you're having a good time over here. I'm loving this. <laughs> you know, that is a perfect eater right there. but. Uh, Glad to get a chance to come out and spend some time with you on the ice, Marcus. You better get down there. They uh, they kind of boiled up after you caught that one. I got to load back up and Need get some more, some more spikes. No, I got plenty. In fact, you throw them down there. Keep them, keep them busy. Let me see if I can get one to come come up. You got a tingler on, which I'm not going to say is the best spoon for fish in this deep water. Right. But I have caught a lot of big perch on them. Yep. And yeah. it does bring them in from a long ways away with that flash and. That slow flutter down. And particularly if a guy is, well, you know this, but uh, if you keep that bait high, don't don't fish it six inches off the bottom. Let that flutter and that, that wild action do its thing for you. Now look at them fishes, here they come. Climbing the ladder. There we go. Nice. I don't know if this one's quite as nice as your last one, but it did bite, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. What a slouch. <laughs> they feel a little different on the short rods compared to the long rods. Marcus Quam guarantees all perch will be bigger than that. <laughs> I think they're one of the most fun fish to ice fish for. Well, I mean, when you get a school of them boiling up, I mean, look at them. Here they come. There's like three of them chasing you already. Ooh. Bing.
Ringo was his name. Oh, I've only got about six of them down there. I don't Do you think need support? Come on. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, dropping bait. Forgive me if I feel like or seem like I'm in a hurry, but I got a, a bunch of them down there. That's what they call perch fever, James. I got it. You got it. Good. Oh, saw it. Saw it. There he is. That's this might one. be the best uh, one I've had so far today. Don't count chickens, bro. Don't count chicken. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy there. Well done. Man, these things look so cool. Little slew tigers here. And they are delicious. <laughs> you never get sick of having a few? Uh, this would be the only fish I'd eat. You know, if, I mean, in the summertime, I eat some walleyes too, but I, I do prefer the perch. Sure. The, um, the fish to batter ratio is spot on. It's just a little bit sweeter and firmer meat. Mm hmm. I don't Ooh. know. I, it's, it's, they're the perfect size. I don't know. He might be hooked a little weird or something. Because he was digging really hard. You see, just a nice perch. Head him under the chin. Man, that number three hot steel jigging wrap it's doing some work. I don't know. Super nice fish. <laughs> I'm stuck. Those little hooks are so sharp. But great fish. You know, probably 10 and a half, maybe 11 inches. Perfect eater. Get that jigging wrap back down the hole. Oh, this is all right. You only get like four nice days a winter in South Dakota, so it's nice that we got one. Yeah, take advantage of it today, right? The Pro Lithium 40 volt light from Strike Master is going to kick your gas. By combining their 40 volt power head, a new six amp hour battery and the Light Flight laser drill, Strike Master has achieved the pinnacle of ice shredding performance. Weighing in at 21 pounds, the Pro Lithium 40 volt can drill up to 115 holes through 16 inches of ice, while the Light Flight laser drill provides a smooth, nearly effortless cut. Strike Master, kick your gas. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Does your sonar offer dual-spectrum chirp, producing razor-sharp images on an ultra-bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. There we go. All right, this is, uh, you remember that the TV show, the Chili Willy cartoon? I don't. This is a Chili Willy session right now. Look at this. This is uh, full on, kind of crazy. You have a bunch of them over there. Like four feet thick. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> Get you some of those number three hot steel digging wraps. Come on out here to South Dakota and have at it. There we go. Had a baby. You switched over to a jigging spoon, didn't you? I had one just kind of not feeling the jigging rat. Mm -hmm. But I, I just wanted to see what it was going to be. What's it going to be? Another perch. That's dandy. I mean, probably day in and day out, 
it's hard to beat one of these rattle spoons. If there was one spoon to fish for me through the ice, it would be one of these. Hey Marcus. Yeah. If I forget to tell you later, I'm having a good time. <laughs> me too, bud. Oh, there we go. I didn't know this jig and wrap was magic. I casted a spell on him. Did ya? Yep. Let's teach that to me. It's been taught down from generations of perch guides. It's kind of tough. I tell you what, the average here today, I mean, we caught some small fish, but that right there, I wouldn't even call it true jumbo, right? But as far as just table fare, eating quality, awesome. You don't have to feel bad about keeping a perch that size either. Come on. There we go. Had a baby. I got three or four over here, James, if you want to maybe try and you know what? I'm, I'm just going to stay out of there. You, you just keep firing down. Oh, that's a nice one there. I am going to get back down as fast as possible. I want to see Marcus Quam on a roll. Because, like James was saying earlier, these fish will not stick around long if they are not seeing a bait in front of them. And this looked like three or four good ones that kind of came through in that school. Come on. Now I just got to build them back up here. The best thing possible is you can just kind of keep bringing them up, let the school build up under you. Kind of let that fish dig a little bit. Now I'm watching them even come out of the zoom window right now. This is what I would call a limit school if you can do it right. That one ate it so deep I can't get it out. So I'll grab this going. jig and wrap. They're already leaving the screen. Hopefully they didn't go too far. There's fish. Boy, I tell you what, getting a few people in around us, they are definitely nowhere near as aggressive as they were before. This might not be a perch, this might be a walleye. Come here, bud. Yeah. Nice walleye with all those perch that we've got. This one's getting a free pass, bud. I agree with that. Fun to catch. Yep. Got better eats sitting on the ice. You can replace a perch faster than you can a walleye like that, I'm sure. I mean, not that this one's super old by any means, but when it comes to a good eating perch, you know, that 10, 11, 12 inch range, those grow pretty fast. There we go. I got some coming in over here. Yeah, I got another buddy down there waiting. Go. I got mine. Doubled? Yes, sir. Who can get down and catch the next one, huh? This might be another walleye, though. If it's a perch, it's a big one. I'm going to go Walter. You know if you need a hand. No, it should be okay. We're at that point in the day where we've caught so many fish. If it got off, I, I mean, I'd be sad, but... Yep. How about them apples? There you go. We are uh, just having one of those days, you know, some days we have to work real hard, some days we have to figure out the puzzle pieces. We basically punched a half dozen holes, dropped down on the first spot, and haven't moved, which never happens. Just think of it as an early Christmas gift. Right. Yeah, 17, 17 and a half inch walleye, beautiful fish. Like I said, if it had been a perch, it would have been a giant. <laughs> I'm going to let this guy go. We've got plenty of fish, so no need to get greedy by any means. <laughs> we're right here towards the middle of the day, I and mean, I think we're getting pretty close to straight up noon. So what I did is I just downsized, went to a Flash Champ. I think that's a 1 8 ounce in that uh, Glow Goldfish. I love that color. We've toned it down a little bit, gone to a smaller profile bait, and it's just allowing us to stay on the fish. They're here, they're just so much more lethargic. Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium-ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sun down. Available in 7.5, 15, and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk Lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital, and live imaging sonar systems. Featuring two patent-pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. 
Find your perfect battery online at NorseLithium.com. Here at StrikeMaster, our goal, our focus, was to create the warmest, most thoughtfully engineered, and safest lineup of outerwear for the ice angler ever produced. StrikeMaster's SOS Stay on Surface flotation technology will be there if you need it, providing up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. StrikeMaster, wear the hottest brand on the ice. This winter, Reeds in Walker, Minnesota is celebrating their 50th anniversary by giving the viewers of the In-Depth Outdoors TV show the chance to win the ultimate ice fishing machine. Prize package includes a Polaris Ranger XP1000 with tracks and a flatbed trailer. To enter, visit our website at indepthoutdoors.com and look for the 50th anniversary logo to submit your entry. The winner will be selected May of 2022 and I will personally deliver the Polaris and trailer to the winner. Enter today for your chance to win at indepthoutdoors.com. I was here for a stay on the ice. Doink, 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 doink. It's really good. Pretty good wad of them that just swam under me here. Got a couple little ones. Not really interested in doing anything. And they just shot through and fired up fast there. You still got them over there? Yeah, hey, got a couple on the bottom. But I'm sure they're not far between us right now. Come over here. Bring it. Come on. I got nothing going over here. I think maybe I downsized too much or went in the wrong color direction. Still a couple here, James, if you nope. feel like you need to come over. I gotta catch back up. I think I got another walleye here. I'm just like the, the walleye guy here midday which is just fine. Pretty cool deal when walleyes are the incidental catch. <laughs> yeah, it's another walleye. I just saw his, his eyeball go by. Don't want to rush this part. Come on, it's a pretty good fish. My biggest one so far. Come here. Yeah, buddy. Boy, I got him pinned top and bottom. He was going nowhere. See how he got that there. Nose hook right in the top lip, treble hook in the bottom lip. That's probably pushing your, you know, your 20 inch range there. The walleyes are lucky today because really what we're here for are the perch, but I am not gonna turn that down. Super nice fish. Still fishing that number three hot steel. By far my best bait today on both the perch and the walleye. I'll fire him back. Boom. So the rod I'm fishing today, it's one that I haven't used a lot. This is the Power Precision, so uh, it's a tuned up custom rod. What Marcus is fishing is the Precision. I would consider that kind of like a, um, an ultralight walleye rod. And then typically I'll fish the Commander. That's a little stiff for fishing perch. So this rod kind of falls right in the middle. It's got more power, more backbone than the Precision, but it's not as fast and as stiff as the Commander. You know, guys that fish spoons uh, or looking for a little bit more forgiveness out of a rod blank, uh, you know, which is important when you're fishing a jigging wrap. But, you know, you got to be kind of careful. Uh, that's a real heavy bait, and those fish start throwing their heads around. It's real easy to have a fish throw that bait if you don't have some cushion in that top third of the rod. So it obviously does a great job of fishing this number three jigging wrap. I'm a little jealous. I won't mind oh, tangling on. with one of those here today. I suppose what's going on here now is midday like this, I'm sure these walleyes, I mean, they must push off a little bit shallower structure from in the morning, right? And yep. Bright, bright sun like this. They're kind of moving out in the deeper water. They're still hunting. A lot of perch out here. I mean, I've caught three walleyes between 17 and 20 inches in the last 45 minutes. Let's catch a 25 incher. The fish out here, the walleyes, when they start to get into that low to mid 20 inch range are just blimps. Well, I think you're still fishing in your original hole, aren't you? But why would I move? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but this only happens once or twice a year. Uh, so we're going to sit here. We're going to enjoy it. Um, doesn't happen very often. Let's see if I can get down in time. Still got a couple rummaging around down there. I typically try to keep my jig 
several foot above them and call out the aggressive ones. So right now, we're actually all day today, we've just been staying in the basin. These perch are pretty much feeding on shrimp and bugs and all that stuff. So most of the time throughout the winter here, very rarely do I find them on structure. It's mostly just out in the abyss. So that's kind of one of the harder parts about perch fishing at times is if you're not where the bugs are actively hatching, they don't stay around too long and kind of looks to me like we found, kind of got on a wormhole here, James. Apparently, there's no reason to leave. No. It'd be foolish. And you can go within several hundred yards of us and it's gonna be the exact same depth, or not the exact, but within a half foot, the same depth of us here. So that brings us to the end of today's show. We're out here uh, right near Webster, South Dakota. It was awesome to get a chance to fish with Marcus Quam after, you know, a couple years of not being able to connect uh, out here on the ice. Uh, it's always a good time uh, when you get a chance to share some, you know, really quality time out on the ice with a good buddy. And today was just one of those days where everything came together in a way that happened so rarely. First spot, first six, eight holes, first bait essentially worked all day long, never had to move, caught fish from start to finish. And here we are uh, mid-afternoon and we're wrapping it up. So just a phenomenal day, caught a ton of great perch, uh, throwing some walleye and a couple of pike. And that's a great day out on the ice. So uh, ice conditions here look to be, you know, eight to maybe almost 10 inches of ice. Uh, we got snow bears around us and uh, one half ton pickup truck off in the distance. I would recommend uh, some additional cold nights before you think about coming out here in a truck. Uh, we found a couple of areas with a lot less. So uh, this area, obviously fish populations are in a phenomenal state. Uh, if you're looking to get in on just a phenomenal bite, make sure you look up Marcus Quam, realtherapyguideservice.com, or you can find him on Facebook. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, it was a great day here in South Dakota. We look forward to seeing you again out there on the ice. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.